What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a first look at the new Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. Now, Google is just dropping certifications left and right. Last week, we took a look at the Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate, and this week, we are looking at the Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. Now, when I hear business intelligence, I typically am thinking of a BI analyst who's doing a lot of dashboards and reporting. At least that's been my experience. So it should be pretty interesting to see what Google actually has in their course as to what they want you to learn for business intelligence. In this video, we're going to take a first look at the certification, we'll walk through each of the courses in the certification and just see what they're teaching. And then at the end, we'll talk about time frame, cost, and kind of my final thoughts and what I would rate this course and if I recommend it. Now, before we jump onto my screen and start taking a look at the certification, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is Coursera. Coursera is one of the best learning platforms out there where you can learn almost anything you need to know about data analytics. I've personally been learning on their platform for over five years, even before I started my YouTube channel, so I know that they are a really great platform. If you want to check them out, as well as check out the certification that we're looking at today, I will leave links in the description. Huge shout out to Coursera for sponsoring this video. Now, without further ado, let's take a first look at the certification. All right, so this is the landing page of the Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. It says learn in-demand skills like data modeling, data visualization, and dashboarding and reporting in less than two months. So that already kind of confirms my suspicions. This is a lot about dashboarding and reporting, but let's scroll on down and let's take a look at the courses. So it looks like they have kind of a new uh, user interface here, but let's take a look really quickly. So the first one is Foundations of Business Intelligence. Then we have the Path to Insights, Data Models and Pipelines. That one should be really interesting. And then we have Decisions, Decisions, Dashboards and Reports. As you can see, there's only three courses that are part of this certification. That is much shorter, even half as short as some of their other certifications. But there's still a lot of content here. There's 24 hours, 23 hours and 27 hours of content in each course. So let's go ahead and take a look at each individual course and see what you're going to learn. So let's take a look at the first course, which is Foundations of Business Intelligence. This first course is very introductory. Just what is business intelligence in general? How does it work? What will you use it for? It's going to also talk about how BI analysts can work with other teams like data engineers. And then it's going to go just a little bit into the technical side where it talks about identifying and creating metrics. Again, a super introductory course kind of geared towards people who don't really know what business intelligence is and just kind of catching them up to speed. Now let's look at course number two, the path to insights, data models, and pipelines. Now in this course, they're going to start getting a lot more technical where they start talking about data marts, data modeling, and databases. It's also going to talk about the ETL and ELT process, optimizing pipelines, data schema validation, and business rules and performance testing. At the very end, there is a small project as well, but as a whole, it looks like it goes a lot more into the technical aspects of business intelligence. Now let's take a look at the third course, which is Decisions, Decisions, Dashboards, and Reports. Now, the first two courses were basically just an introduction and technical theory, but now you're going to be actually applying it. So now you're going to be learning how to build dashboards and reports in Tableau. In this course, you're going to learn how to create a dashboard, how to pick different visualizations for different data. You'll also learn how to create visualizations based off of what a stakeholder is requesting. And there's lots of little examples and little mini projects is what I'll call them along the way to learn how to do that. And then at the very end, you're going to have your capstone project, which will be the final project throughout the entire course. In this final project, it looks like it's actually two final projects. In the first project, you're pretending that you're working with a cyclist bike share company and you're working with New York in order to provide shared bikes. They want you to create a business plan for the next year and they want you to create these tables in Tableau. The next project is for Google Fiber and you're basically pretending that you're interviewing for a business intelligence position at the Google Fiber call center. As part of this interview process, they want you to create a dashboard that explores the trends in repeat calls. And so then at the bottom, they just kind of tell you what they want and you're basically going to be building this out in Tableau again. All right, so now that we've looked at all the courses, let's talk about time frame, the cost, and then my final thoughts. The time frame that they give to complete the certification is two months. I think that's fairly accurate, although you could do it a little faster if you really hustle, but there's about 75 hours of content in this certification. So that is quite a bit to get through in just one month, but I definitely think it should be done in under two months. The cost is $39 per month. So if it does take you those two months, it'll 
cost you right about $80 for the entire certification. Now, lastly, let's talk about my overall thoughts of the certification. Overall, I think it covered a lot of really good topics, a lot of things that I was hoping to see in here when I first saw the certification. This course is also definitely geared towards beginners because it's really introductory at the beginning. So you're really just getting an introduction of what is business intelligence, how do they work, what do they do? And then in the second course, it gets into more of the technical things. One thing I will say that I did not like is that I don't think they went hands on enough. They did a lot of the technical theory. What do they do? How does it work? But then they only had one course for Tableau. And I just didn't get a sense that it went really in depth as other certifications and courses that they have on Coursera. I myself learned by doing and building projects and they do try to do that in the third course. So they have little mini projects as well as the two final projects at the end. I wish there was an entire fourth course where they went really in depth into how to build all these dashboards and reports and all these things in Tableau, but you definitely get the introductory of how to build in Tableau. It's just not as in depth as I was hoping. But if you're someone who learns by reading and watching videos, this is going to be really good for you. If you're someone who learns by doing a lot of hands-on projects, you'll get that in the third course. You just won't get as much hands-on experience in the first or second course. Overall, my initial rating of the certification is a seven out of 10. I really do think all the content that they create for this business intelligence certification is really relevant and really good content. And of course, it's Google, so it has really good production value, and a lot of the materials are very good as well. I just would have loved to see more hands-on projects and maybe going a little bit more in-depth into the actual Tableau side, but they still did a pretty good job. And so again, seven out of 10 is not bad at all. I think if you were just starting out in business intelligence and you want to learn about dashboards and reports, there's a lot of good theory in this course. This is definitely an introductory or a beginner's level course to me. It doesn't go into more of the intermediate and advanced concepts, but if you're just looking to kind of dip your toe in the water, learn more about it, learn the basics of Tableau, this is a pretty good certification to start with. So that is my initial review of the Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.